Hey guys, welcome to the Eczema channel. This is the channel for getting your questions answered about eczema. Now in this video, we're talking about why eczema flares when you're sweating. If you're sweating from exercise, make sure you check out the previous video to this one on why eczema flares when you exercise. So we're looking at why does eczema flare when you sweat? There's three main reasons why eczema flares when you're sweating. The first one, is due to the chemical or petroleum based emollients that you're putting on your skin. When we put these um, synthetic chemicals on our, on our skin, instead of natural skin friendly products, it blocks the pores in the skin from allowing the sweat to come through. You're still gonna sweat because your body's trying to cool down, but the sweat can't escape. So what happens is it starts to leach into the skin it starts to break into the skin tissues that disturbs your skin cells and causes your mast cells to release histamine and we all know histamine causes itching and causes flares and it, it, you know increases the severity of those flares so that's the first thing that's happening is the chemical emollients the second thing that's happening is a reaction to your sweat. Now in 2018, researchers did a study on eczema patients and they found between 77 and 96% of eczema sufferers actually have an allergic reaction to their own sweat. Now it's not really your sweat that you're reacting to, it's a component in your sweat that's produced by a malassezia yeast that lives naturally on our skin. The problem is eczema patients have a lot more of that yeast on their skin. So they're having a lot more of that byproduct that's being produced in their sweat. And that is actually causing an immune response and causing a full allergic reaction, which is causing histamine release. So that's the second reason. Now, the third reason, which is linked to the, the sweating issue, is the, is the clothes that you wear when you go to the gym. Most people go to the gym wearing tight fitting spandex lycra, lycra polyester type clothes, which might look attractive, but they don't allow the sweat to evaporate from the body. So they are, especially when they're tight, they're holding the sweat on your skin and increasing that reaction that's happening from the malassezia yeast. So the things you need to do, firstly, you need to be creaming your body and moisturizing your body with skin friendly um, products that are not petroleum or, or synthetic chemical based so that you don't you don't cause the uh, pores to be blocked on your skin so you can check out the environmental working group website for non-toxic uh, natural based skincare products ewg.org um, and make sure when you go to the gym you take your own products with you because if you're going to use the products that are supplied in the gym in their showers they are not going to be skin friendly so make sure you take your own ones that you know you're not going to react to and cream your get the sweat off your off your body straight away and cream yourself re-moisturize yourself after the second thing you need to be cutting back on sugar and refined sugar and things that turn to sugar so really a low glycemic index diet. So anything like chips, crisps, snacks, candies, sweets, all those things, even fruit juice, if you're drinking fruit juice before you go to the gym, they create an instant sugar rush in your body and sugar feeds yeast. So that will encourage the yeast to proliferate on your skin. And then you will be creating more of this byproduct that your body is reacting to. So you need to be on a low sugar, low GI diet, low glycemic index diet sugar is inflammatory anyway we don't need extra sugar in our diet it's good for you to replace that with whole uh, foods and foods that are um, a lot lower on the glycemic index that will help you to manage the yeast the second or the third thing you need to do is to make yourself some very strong vitamin c drinks which you can uh, take to the gym you can drink them before you exercise you can drink them while you exercise Vitamin C has been shown to be a natural antihistamine if it's taken in high enough doses. If you don't know how to make the homemade vitamin C drinks, check out my previous video on why vitamin C is so important when you have eczema. I tell you there how to make the homemade vitamin C drinks that will help you to clear the histamine and have less histamine release in your body. And then obviously the last thing is to wear loose cotton 
clothes. 100% cotton allows sweat to evaporate from your body so that you're not holding it against your skin. So don't go to the gym in the spandex, the lycra, the polyester, tight fitting clothes. Wear loose fitting cotton clothes so that when you exercise, you can um, cause that, you can allow that sweat to evaporate off your skin. So I hope this has helped. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this with everybody else that you know who is suffering from eczema and needs to have their questions answered. And I'll see you in the next video.